What's up guys, this is Dan from Monster Tech here and today I will be showing you some of the uh, the full customization in Skyrim for your character. So we're going to start off with the different races and what attributes they cause. So first one, you've got the Reptile Argonian. He's a reptile race. They are naturally resistant to diseases which could come very useful. And they have an ability to breathe underwater. And their main power is they can regenerate health very quickly, which could come helpful. The Breton. They're quick and they've got a good grasp of spellcraft. Resistant to magic. And they have a dragon skin power to absorb spells. So if you want to be the kind of magic person, maybe the Breton might be the one for you. Considering he's very good at spellcraft and absorbing spells and resistant to magic. The Dark Elves. Dark Elf. He is very good at stealth and magic skills, and they are naturally resistant to fire. And their main power is they can surround themselves in fire to use it as a defense. So if anything comes near him, it basically kills them, which is pretty cool. The High Elf. They are strongly gifted in the arcane arts of all the races. So this is the race that's kind of good at a little bit of everything, and they can regenerate magic quickly. Imperial. They are skilled with combat and magic. And they can call upon the voice of the Emperor to calm an e enemy. So this could become very useful. Say you got some massive boss attacking you. You could use your power to calm it down. I don't know how successful it would be, but there we go. Then you've got the Kaiji Tiger type thing. This is one of the, um, I would recommend this race strongly because they make excellent thieves due to their natural stealthiness and they can see in the dark as well as they have a very powerful unarmed claw attacks. Unlike any other race, the tigers or cats, whatever you want to call them, have claws. So they have an extremely powerful melee attack and they can see in the dark, which um, vision is really bad at this game you need to have a good vision in dark caves so if you've got night vision that could be really helpful and they're very good thieves and stealthy intelligent and quick so i highly recommend the kaiji you've got the nord the nords are resistant to cold and their talents as warriors they can use battle cry to make opponents flee so they'll run away could become very useful the orc the big Badass orc. They are very good at craftsmanship. They they feel very prized about themselves about that. Very good at heavy armor. And they are fearsome when using the berserker rage. So I'm guessing this berserker rage is some like powerful attack. But it sounds pretty good. You got the red guard, the most naturally talented warriors. They have a hardy constitution and natural resistance to poison. Um, I don't know if that would be any useful because there's not many poisonous creatures in this game that I've come across. And they can call upon the adrenaline rush in combat. So I'm guessing that would make you like super speed or something. As Again, I've never used this power. And last not least, my second recommended race would be the wood elf. They... Wood Elves make good scouts and thieves, which would be useful. And there are no finer archers in all of Tamriel. So if you want to be an archer, the Wood Elf is the race for you. And they are resistant to both poisons and diseases. And they can command animals to fight for them. So I mean, that's, that's really cool. So you could be in the wilderness, you've been attacked. You can command the animals to help you whilst you pick them off of your archery. And if they and if the animal does a uh, creature attacks you, it can't poison you or give you a disease. So I'm gonna go with the wood elf. I highly recommend it or the kaiji. So going into the character customization, you can choose the sex, male or female. Uh, there is already preset ones. For example, there's kind of already different presets. So I'm gonna go with like this type guy. You got your skin tone, tanned or darker. And then your weight, how broad you are, and like on the fat side a bit and muscly. You've got
got your complexion, how old your guy wants to look, so I'm going to make my guy young. You got your dirt, you can put dirt on your face, I don't know why they added this, but there we go. And then you got your dirt colour. Scars, you can have a nice scar on the side of your face. Claw marks, many other scar type markings. If you want to make your guy look tough, add some scars. Got war paint, that's, that's pretty cool. Kind of like dark and dry, makes you look a bit like a ninja. Got these weird kind of spikes coming off your eye. The common army two stripes on the side. Kind of like, uh, that's like tears really. Then a random hampering. So lots of different wall paint designs. I'm going to use a wall paint actually. I'm going to go with this one. It kind of makes my guy look very assassin -y. And then you've got the wall paint colour. So I'm just going to make that red. So going into the face, you can uh, change so many things. You've got your nose type. Then you can actually change the nose height, the length, the jaw width, jaw height, jaw forward, cheekbone height, cheekbone width, cheek colour, laugh lines, cheek colour lower, nose colour, chin colour, neck colour, forehead colour. So there's so much you can customise on the face. You can even attempt to make it look like you. There's that many options. Then you've got eye tint. So as you see underneath the eyes, it's kind of got like a black shadow in. I'm going to have that. Eye shadow. Eye shadow colour, eye depth, eye width, eye height, eye colour, eye shape. So I'm going to change the shape of my eyes. Then I'm going to have different eye colour. You can have like a glass eye in one eye. Red eyes. Uh, what other eyes are there? Orange eyes. Black eyes. Eye height. So I'm going to go with like the orangey eyes. Brow, change all your brow, your eyebrows, then your height, etc. Then you've got your mouth, change your lip colour, so let's have like normal red lips. Change your chin forward, length, width, mouth forward, mouth height, mouth shape. Then you've got your hairstyles. There's quite a lot of different variations of hair to go through, hairstyles. I'm going to go have the classical mohawk, that's pretty cool. And change your facial hair, so I'm going to have like a little bit of facial hair. And then your hair colour, so I'm going to have like black. Yeah, there you go, black. So, as you can see, it looks pretty cool and detailed. It's got black mohawk with black and blackened out eyes, orange eyes with a bit of facial hair and red lips. So... The customization on Skyrim is very good. The only bad point about it is maybe that there should be some more races. That that would only be my suggestion. Maybe like a DLC pack for more races. But apart from that, I think the character customi customization is very good. Um, positive points. Lots of different hairstyles and the way they've added like you can put paint on your face and make him unique compared to other Skyrim soldiers so this is done uh, make sure you subscribe and click the like button if you like love Skyrim give me some feedback and let me know what you'd like to see in next featured Skyrim videos thank you very much for watching